going to show you how to make a geometric abstract art project. All right, so you're going to need some paper and go ahead and place it horizontal, horizontally. Okay, and then you're also going to need a ruler. Here's mine. And you're going to need a marker or a pencil or a pen. Okay, and you will as well need, you're also going to need the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, as well as the secondary colors, which are purple, green, and orange. And yes, you can use other colors as well. I'm just sticking to these primary and secondary colors. Okay, let's get started. So what you're going to do is make some lines. You're going to draw some lines from one sheet of your paper to the other side. So um, you can start anywhere. I'm just starting on this side and I'm just going to simply just draw a straight line. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue drawing lines on my paper any which way. Okay, um, I'm using a blue marker. You can use a black Sharpie, that's totally fine. And so um, it's actually a fun, relaxing art project. And you're just making straight lines like so. Okay, and I'm just gonna make some more. Okay. I'm starting to see triangles, quadrilaterals different geometric shapes taking place. Okay, and maybe I'll go over here, do a diagonal line. Let's see, there we go. Okay, and maybe just a few, a couple more lines. How about here? And maybe this way. Okay. So continue drawing, continue to draw straight lines across the paper in various directions, as you saw me here. The, uh, the more lines you draw, the more coloring spaces you're going to have. And so the cool thing about this art project is that there is no wrong way to do this because it's abstract. Okay, so the second step, or after you have um, drawn your lines, is you fill in the geometric shapes. You can start with any color. You just start coloring like so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very relaxing. You can play some background music as you're coloring here. Okay. So there's yellow, right? Yellow. Okay. And so just grab another color and you can start anywhere on your, on your, on your paper. I like to color um, in one direction, that's so um, just back and forth. Try to stay within the lines. Okay, and try not to leave any white space showing of your paper. Mm -hmm. Just like this. And go in like that and get in the, the white. And you just continue. Continue to color. Very relaxing. Very colorful. The end, the end of result, the end product 
you're going to see a very colorful abstract work of art. And they're all going to look different. Okay. So the only thing is try not to get two colors of the same kind right next to each other. So here I have yellow. So over here, I can either use orange or purple, okay, or red, or even green, okay, or blue. Okay, I, um, so maybe, let's see, I haven't used orange, so maybe I'll use some orange up here. Mm -hmm, just like so. Mm -hmm. Keep coloring. Like so. There we go. Okay, so I see a little triangle here. So I'm not going to use orange. I'm not going to use red. Okay, so I could use either purple, green, blue. I'm not going to use yellow either because there's yellow. Actually, I'm not going to use blue either, so take that back. So I'm left with, I could use, I could use, so it takes little bit of planning, either green or purple. So I think I'm gonna go with some, let's see, green. Okay, and then maybe I wanna color here, do this shape here. So I'm gonna um, use my um, purple crayon and just color away. All right. Okay, so um, as you can see, it's starting to take some shape. So when you're done filling up all these geometric shapes, it's going to look something like this. Ta da! Isn't that nice? Very, very colorful. And this is called abstract art. Thank you. Can't wait to see yours.